Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install CodeBlocks ID on Windows 10. So, CodeBlocks is an open source cross platform ID that supports multiple compilers, including GCC as well. So, before installing CodeBlocks, you can also install MinGW compiler to avoid any errors while working on CodeBlocks. So, we already installed MinGW on our Windows 10 operating system. We have mentioned the link in the description so that you can install MinGW easily. As you can see when I'll go to start and type mingw it is here that is we have successfully installed it now let us first download code blocks ID go to the browser on Google type code blocks press enter on pressing enter the official website is visible codeblocks.org click on it on clicking you can see downloads is visible need to click on the same now three versions are visible so we will go for the download the binary release click on it on clicking different versions are visible for windows linux and mac because as i mentioned before it is a cross platform id here it is visible for windows for xp vista 7 8 and 10 now here 20.03 is the current version when we created this video let's click on here to download On the left, the download started. Here you can see the exe file. Just wait for a few seconds. The download completed. Click on the arrow and click on open. Let's minimize this. Now the setup started. Click on next. Now license is visible. I agree. Click on it. Now you can see the components are visible which component you want to install and which you want to ignore I'll keep the default and click on next here is the path wherein code blocks will install under program files if you want to change the path go to browse and select the location from here I'll click cancel keep the path as same space required is only 80 MB click on install now now the installation started As you can see the setup completed. Do you want to run code blocks now? I'll click no. Click on next. Finish. The setup completed. Now you can see on the desktop a shortcut is visible for the same which just now got created. Double click to open. Now here you can see compiler auto detection. It has automatically detected GNU GCC compiler. You need to select the default and click on OK. Now you can see we are inside code blocks, the dashboard, first screen. For this, leave it as it is and click on OK. Now you can see we will create a new project. You can create a new project from here itself or you can go to File, click on New and here click on Project. Here you can see different projects you can create the categories visible here you can see open cv also static library shared library code blocks program d application dynamic link library everything so here what we'll do we will create a console application select this and click on go now here welcome next here which program you want to create i'll want to create c program i'll click on c and click on next Project title, let's set a title. My demo C program. Project file name would be extension would be CBP. Folder, let's create a folder. Click on browse. Desktop, let's create a new folder. Commit projects, let's say. Now double click this and click on select folder. Here is the path where the project will create we just we just created a folder the resulting file name will be under the same folder so now click on next here compilers here you can see so many compilers are visible we'll keep the same all rest debug and release the same configuration and click on finish 
Now on the left under project directory workspace you can see our project is visible under source file it created a default main.c program double click so here it is visible here you can change now what you need to do you need to run it first file save save file I'll click on this button run it is saying that you need to build now I'll click on yes first you need to build so here you can see guys the output my first C program this is what we printed now press any key to continue I press the key and it's closed now let's print a variable simple here is the format specifier semicolon and that's it now guys we have created a variable and printed it the format specifier we have added percentage d because it's an integer now let's save it file save file now go to build and click on build and run now you can see the output is visible value is equal to 10 and my first C program let's enter the key and close it we forgot to add a new line let's add it here now file save file and run it again sorry I forgot to build now build build and run now guys here you can see value is equal to 10 new line and my first C program here it is so guys in this video we saw how we can easily install code blocks ID we also saw how we can easily run our first program in code block that is we ran a sample C program so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel Amit Things